Hey Guardians, do you remember acquiring this weapon, then putting it in the vault and forgetting about it? If you're one of those players and a titan who likes stasis, stick around cause with the recent buffs to this weapon, the buffs to stasis in Season of the Wish and stasis artifact mods, we're going over a fun and effective way to use this weapon as Zebu Wrath herself intended. My name is Tavius and let's get into it. Wicked Implement came into Destiny 2 during Season of the Deep attached to fishing. Yes, fishing. We spent hours fishing week after week trying to get all the different exotic fish to then unlock the mission to earn the exotic weapon. But after all that work, many players felt Wicked Implement was pretty disappointing, even with the catalyst. Let's go over it. The intrinsic trait Creeping Attrition reads, Rapidly landing precision hits causes targets to become slowed. Nothing crazy. Slowing targets with precisions. Now the weapon exotic perk, Tithing Harvest. While creeping attrition is active, destroying stasis crystals or landing precision final blows creates a stasis shard. The stasis shards return to you, and collecting stasis shards refills the magazine. Okay, getting better but still not enough to make it worth the exotic slot. The magazine on this weapon is only 15, so you'll be relying on stasis shards to get to you and refill your magazine before the 15 shards are fired. If not, you'll be stuck in a reload animation that's gonna make you question why you even bother getting this weapon. But there is a catalyst. A catalyst that had us doing tier 7 deep dives to unlock the full potential of the weapon, which was Overflow. The catalyst gives the weapon Hatopelagic Tribute, which overflows the weapon's magazine beyond capacity by collecting stasis shards. So now the weapon's full potential was unlocked and still was falling very short. The community wasn't happy with the weapon, so Bungie, after a few months of feedback, took the catalyst and added Headstone on top of everything else. The headstone we all know. Precision kills spawn a large stasis crystal at the victim's location. Now we're cooking. Precision hits slow tank your enemies and bosses, and precision kills spawn crystals. Shatter the crystals to damage enemies and to create stasis shards that will come to you and overflow your mag for minimal reloads. But also, since this weapon slows and also shatters targets, we're able to counter both overload and unstoppable champions with one weapon and also create an insane amount of diamond lances with the Cadmus Ridge Landscap exotic helmet. Let's get into it. Another niche exotic focusing on diamond lances creating stasis crystals. Lancer's Vigil. Diamond lances create stasis crystals on impact when thrown, with more crystals created by hitting bosses and vehicles. While using stasis subclass and behind your barricade, rapid precision hits and combatant final blows with the stasis weapon creates a diamond lance near you, or literally on top of you. So this build is shaping to be the complete opposite of what a titan is, no punching. Away from enemies, behind your barrier, landing precision hits and kills, spawning diamond lances next to you and creating lots of crystals and shards. Now let's go over some aspects and fragments for the behemoth to make this better. Rally Barricade, which, remember, increases weapon reload speed, stability and range when behind it. Great for a wicked implement. Then I went with Glacier Grenade because of the shatter damage that stuns unstoppable champions and also more stasis shards when shattering. For the aspects, we have Tectonic Harvest, which creates shards by shattering crystals and those shards grant melee energy for you and teammates, while also overflowing our scout rifle. And the second aspect is Diamond Lance, of course shatter or defeat targets with stasis abilities to create a diamond lance. And this is when things get wild, so many diamond lances. Moving on to the fragments, we have 5 since diamond lance gives us 3 slots for fragments. Whisper of Conduction, so stasis shards track to my position. This one is a tricky one because we could implement already makes stasis shards come to you, but only the ones that are created by the weapon. If you shatter a crystal with the weapon and the crystal shatters other crystals nearby, only one of those shards will come to you while the others stay in place. With this fragment, all of them come to you when you get close enough. And this one also gives us 10 resilience and 10 intellect. Next is the Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which lasts 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. So each shard gives you a tenth of your shield bar but it only lasts 10 seconds, so even though getting one tenth of a shield isn't much, it could save your life, especially with the amount of shards we'll be creating with this build. Next fragment is the Whisper of Fissures, to increase the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy the stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. 
Great for shattering the crystals our diamond lands, our wicked implement with headstone, and our glacier grenade will create. The Whisper of Refraction. Defeating slowed or frozen targets grants us class ability energy. Helpful in getting our barricade back quick. And last, the Whisper of Rending. Primary ammo weapons do increased damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. We can implement its primary ammo and there will be lots of crystals and frozen targets. Moving on to the seasonal artifact, we have three important ones. Pillar of Ice. Defeating an encased combatant spawns stasis crystals. Dragon's Bite. Breaking a combatant's shield with a stasis weapon has a chance to freeze the combatant. And Hell the Storm. Shattering frozen targets and crystals deals increased damage. Shattering crystals releases shards of ice that damage and slow targets further away. In the seasonal artifact, I also have things like Flame, Fiver, and Freeze to combine Solar and Stasis Siphon mods, Solo Operative, and Overload Rocket Launcher since Apex Predator exists. And now let's talk some armor mods. On the helmet, Thermodynamic Siphon, Flame, Fiver, and Freeze comes in handy here. Rapid Solar or Stasis Final Blows creates an orbital power. And a heavy ammo finder. On my arms, a fastball to increase grenade throw distance and double bolstering detonation to help get our barricade back fast when causing damage with our glacier grenade. My chest piece comes with solar reserves for both my special and heavy weapons, some sniper resistance and also stasis damage resistance. Moving on to the legs, I have a stasis weapon surge to increase the damage of our stasis weapon for 10 seconds every time we pick up an overpower and Absolution to also reduce all ability cooldowns with orb pickups. Last, for the class item, we have Powerful Attraction to automatically pick up any nearby orbs of power when we activate our barricade. A Bomber to reduce our grenade cooldown when placing barricade, and Distribution to help all our cooldowns if there are enemies nearby when we place our barricade. We could implement with Catalyst and the Cadmus Rich Landscape Exotic make for a super fun and effective combo for a long range Titan. Slowing, creating tons of crystals and stasis shards, and also lots of diamond lances for you and your fire team with the help of the exotic helmet. The Whisper of Rending will increase the damage of the Wicked implement to help you shatter stasis crystals, crystals that will have increased damage when they shatter with the Whisper of Fissures. Those Shattered Crystals will create Stasis Shards that will track to your position with the Whisper of Conduction, and on top of overflowing the Wicked Implement, they also give us a 10 second Stasis Overshield. All this while standing safe behind our barricade spawning constant Diamond Lances next to us with our Scout. I had no idea these two niche exotics could work so well together. I honestly put away both of these the moment I unlocked them, but here we are. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like and consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Tavius, I thank you for your viewership, Discord, contact and Patreon information is down in the description. And if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.